right, this is video 111, where we're going to actually create some apertures. Rather than just edit the ones from the customer, sometimes you have to create your own. So let's start by just creating a layer that we're going to play on. On this layer, I'm going to start by in my aperture manager, I'm going to create a new aperture. So I click on the icon, click on aperture create. We move this over here and let's start circle that's the first one so circle aperture let's say 100 i say okay and i click okay now my aperture is created and with my insert flash i flash my circle i can go in here let's go to the next one rectangle for the rectangle i'm going to start with one that's actually the same x and y size which is basically a square so i can go over here rather than click ok and each time going back to the to the uh, creator i'm going to click apply it so that creates the aperture and it leaves the window open for the next one so apply my insert flash is still active here's my square let's total view and you see down here even though it says rectangle here in the list, it's a square. Let's make it different. Let's make it 100 by 50. And now we have a real square, a rectangle, not square. So let's also bring in now the, um, I'm going to use one of these over here, like uh, the reverse. If I go back and create another uh, square, but I'll make it reverse. Let's say apply. Now I can go and put that here on top and reverse will clear out what is underneath the positive that's underneath. So at that point you see in the list that we're going from one positive. We've been on the same polarity level. Now we're, we are going to one negative. If I would create a, another circle that is maybe like 10 that's positive and I flash that in there I basically now created two polarity levels one polarity one negative two positive one positive one negative two positive let's go to oh, let's do one more here for the rectangle let's go and create another 100 by 2 by 50 and let's use the rotation rotation i can have one that's 45 degrees so there we go 45 degrees 33.75 73 let's make it even more let's do it like this apply so you can do a minus Minus 90 isn't going to do, uh, it's, it's going to rotate at 90 degrees. Yep, there we go. Of course, I could have also created a 50 by 100, but just to show you the possibilities. Moving on to the next one. The next one we're going to use is a box. For us, the box in UCAM X, the box is being used for typically for to represent SMDs, so they can be rounded rectangles, they can be uh, ovals, they can be ellipses, all of those are special cases of the box aperture. So let's start by just taking a rectangle with some rounded corners. Yeah, rounded square in this case, I take 50 again right so now that I have halved the the cutoff the cutoff on the corners I'll take half of the smaller size and I've created an oval and if I do half on both sides both X and Y I've created an ellipse now we have also some 
abilities where not only can we round these, but we can also do them as uh, straights. So for example, let's take this one. All right, so here's a stretch diamond. Another version is where we can do a, cut, a, a straight cutoff or actually a cut in. So let's do a, um, let's actually do a 100, let's make a, um, a cross. There you go. All right, and of course all of these can be rotated. Now you have an X. Let's do one more because we also have a the opposite of the round off. We have a round in and that will give us something like this or we can do maybe another example. Let's take uh, half. And now we have star. So all of these abilities are there, like you, you can create, for example, if you needed some drill symbols, you could create those. Uh, if you like, you could create your own. We provide, of course, a nice uh, sample set for that, but you can create your own. But this, all of using all of these abilities here, like in here, the box, if you go to the cut, this the straight, it does say octagon values, but we do have an octagon aperture as well. So here's our octagon. Let's go to donuts. We actually have three different types, the standard donuts. So you provide outer inner, you tell it that you, the style is round. Now we do one where the style is square and we end up with one, but finalize it with one where the outside is square, the inside is round. Thermal aperture. Here we, are, we have four types as well. So you provide the outer and the inner. You provide the gap. And if you wanted to, you can do an angle. Let's do something like, um, let's do like this. We apply. So that's like a kind of like a thick uh, thermal over here. Let's make this a little bit smaller, maybe like 160. There we go. Let's use that. Now we can turn that into a square version. We can turn that into a round version with rounded edges. All right, so let's zoom in. Make it absolutely clear, straight, around it. And then if we, um, we also have one where we do the combination, the squares. And now let's do a uh, insert. Actually, let's take the angle off because I want to show this one. You can use this one for Valentine's Day. Okay, so let's go to what else do we have? It's the next one is a complex. A complex is actually one that you're building up with different apertures. So let's take, for example, over here, let's remove all of these. And let's just take our little show of love. And I'm going to duplicate this over here and maybe over there. Make like a little cross of hearts. There we go. Now, I, what we can do with the complex is we can create a complex that encompasses all what I see on the screen selections. And then I can measure if I want to have the center, the flash point is the origin of the uh, complex aperture in the center. 
I'm measuring this, measure my selections with measure layers like we did in another video. I switch selections on and I say with center. Now I can do apply. And now I have a aperture that is actually composited of a number of different features. Next, let's do a contour. What are we using contours for? Contours are cannot be flashed. Yeah, you see it says contour aperture is not a valid flash. So we will switch to our draw. Let's just draw a frame to frame our beautiful artwork. I'm going to just put a border around it. And what's nice is if we use the same aperture, the same contour aperture, and we draw one that's, that is, didn't want to do that one. Let's do one, let's do it differently. And I'm going outside like this. I'm actually just created a frame. The same would have happened if I would have done this on the inside, like that. In this particular case, you see that even though we are, we are opening, so we're opening up this contour, it is not the same as reverse in here, um, because that would give us a different effect. So this is the same contour aperture. If we would have created a reverse contour, like some systems are doing, and we would have used that one to draw our frame, well, we would have basically erased we would have overwritten it with the uh, negative. So we don't want that. Text. Well, maybe you can actually create this artwork and say, you know, you were late with your Valentine. Just create quickly one over here. Sorry, that one text is being flashed. And we'll just put that in here. There we go. Now we have, you create your custom Valentine, print it out. There you go. So the last one that I need to show is in here is called the block. What we're doing with blocks is actually, normally you don't really create a block. A block is, is being created when you're doing step and repeat, the system will automatically create blocks. But let's assume for a moment that uh, one of these images is not enough and you want to make a bigger statement. Well, let's do with center. We say selections definition. We click apply. What I now have is basically an aperture. Let's delete what we have. There we go. That I can flash. It's similar to a complex, except for just like because it is really something that is normally being used for step and repeat. I can go inside this block, edit it, and I still have full access to all of the information like this. And I can go out of the block mode, quit, save this, and all four of my images in this case will have this. So that concludes creating apertures.